So, Professor Geoffrey Morris, what about your, your repertoire for guitar in your concerts? What do you prefer to play, especially from Italian authors? Of Italian? Well, my repertoire dates really from the Baroque up until modern composers, many of whom are of it, either Italian or of Italian origin. Uh, for instance, when I play the Baroque guitar, uh, the music of Corbetta is one of the, the major composers that, that I would play. And uh, I play his repertoire on a copy of a Baroque guitar uh, because I like to use original instruments or copies of original instruments for my concerts. So when I'm playing music of the 17th century, this is the, the kind of composer and uh, work that I would look at. Uh, for the 18th and 19th century composers, I play a lot of Mario Giuliani's music. Uh, in particular, the leader repertoire, because he wrote many fine songs, both in Italian and in German. And again, I perform this on uh, period instruments. Uh, a lot of this music is uh, influenced by Italian opera, uh, in particular Rossini uh, and uh, composers like this that, that uh, Giuliani was very aware of. And the musical language of bel canto, uh, the characteristic exists in his music. Uh, another composer, uh, from the 19th century uh, is Luigi Legnani and Legnani worked uh, directly with uh, Paganini. Uh, they were a guitar and violin duo and sometimes apparently even swapped instruments and uh, Paganini would play the guitar. Um, Legnani was also contributed to the design of the guitar that I play in fact in that he uh, worked with York Stauffer on a guitar where you could adjust the action and which had extra frets goes up to uh, a major second or minor third higher than most other guitars of the period. Uh, but perhaps the, the area where uh, my repertoire is different to many is that I play a lot of Italian and contemporary music. Uh, well, I play a lot of contemporary music in general, but uh, Italian contemporary music is particularly exciting to me because it seems to meld together uh, a sort of strict compositional aesthetic together with a real love of sound and a real uh, uh, concept of sound as being a cru crucially important aspect. Uh, so from this point of view, a lot of the uh, earlier Italian composers of the mid-20th uh, century, such as Bruno Moderna, Goffredo Petrassi, uh, Giacinto Schelsi, I, I play all those pieces. Um, but I also play, uh, well, a composer who is particularly important to me was Franco Donatoni. And uh, Donatoni visited Australia on several occasions for the premiere of new works uh, which I was involved with as a member of the Elysian Ensemble. Uh, he also wrote in 1977 a very significant piece for the guitar called Algo, which I think spurred many other Italian composers to write for the instrument, uh, so it's quite influential. And of course Donatoni was a very respected teacher and uh, the link between Australia and, Italy and Italy well, was perhaps strengthened through this kind of collaboration. Uh, of living Italian composers, I particularly have worked with uh, Maurizio Pizzati, who lives in Milano, and Gabriella Manca, who also lives in Milan. And uh, we've done some multimedia events, as, as well as uh, solo guitar pieces, and uh, pieces with guitar and, and other instruments. Uh, finally, I think I should mention uh, my work with Aldo Clementi, who's a composer who lives just outside of Rome, on the outskirts of Rome. He's approaching his 80th birthday, or he may have just had his 80th birthday in the last couple of years. Um, he has been writing for the guitar since 1960 as part of just his general evolution as a composer. And uh, in, uh, 19, uh, in the 1970s, he wrote several pieces, including one for lute, which I play. And so I made a CD of his music, including some pieces that he wrote for me. Um, a couple of years ago, which was uh, released on the American record label Mode. And Clementi is an important composer in that a lot of his music is samples of, of earlier music, which he then puts through a, a kind of modern process to bring a music which is both looking back at the past and a music which is somehow forecasting the future.